you self develop so fast. Mm -hmm. You self develop every day. Yep. Most people, they want to make just enough money to pay their house off, to pay their bills, to get the car they want. And once they get it, they'll get enough stories to tell, they'll read enough books, they'll take enough courses to get them to where they want to be. I call that a standard. Mm -hmm. And then they slow down. I'm never going to slow down. Yeah. And neither are you. You know why? Because it's disrespectful to the people who look up to us. A coach never stops learning. And pro once you stop progress in your life, like you die. Here's what I want you to understand. Every day, you got 60 to 70,000 thoughts going through your head a day, and 80% of them are negative. You guys got me? Okay, do me a favor. We're, we're going to clean your freaking mouth out. We're going to clean your brain out. We're going to reprogram. Everybody write that down. I'm going to reprogram you. Matter of fact, write brainwash. You know, because they say the news brainwashes people to be afraid and scared. Am I right? Yeah, well, I'm going brain, to brainwash you to feel powerful. I'm going to brainwash you to have a delusional belief, which is the number one rule to selling that you can have whatever you want. And all I need to ask is do you believe it? Because listen to me, you can get hype, you can say I believe it, you can do all this stuff. The way that you operate tells me what you believe. If in the last 30 seconds of your life you were gonna die and you knew you were, you just got in a car wreck and you knew you were going out, who would you think about? In the last 30 seconds of your life, see this is hard to answer, isn't it? Why? This should be the easiest thing to answer. The reason why so many people are broke is because they're busy. Productive equals paid, busy equals broke. You want to live a life worth living? You want to be a legend? You want to go out? What's important to you? Listen, what's important to me don't have to be important to him. You know what I'm saying? And who he is right now doesn't have to be who he's going to be next year or who he'll be in three months from now. Does that make sense? people they can't find their own identity and by the way your identity develops and evolves every day yeah. if you really aspire to change people's lives I mean and really aspire to be a leader you're going to have to change every day yeah. every time we meet you're different your eyes look different mm. do when you change your eyes change colors mm. I can see in people's souls and I can tell whether they're growing or they're dying you can say hi to anybody when you walk by and you can tell whether they love life and they have progress in it or you can tell whether they're stuck and they're stagnant. You can tell whether they've been training and they're sharp. You can tell whether they're shaking people's hands and walking around and pouring love into people or you can tell that they got that look on their face, what's in it for me? And this is transactional. You can tell really who's by your side. You can tell who really texts you and is checking in on you to see how you're doing. You can tell when somebody calls you whether it's a chess game and there's something coming on in the future. If everybody would just become real, they would have everything they want and more and everybody would be taken care of. Think about this, how many people just show up, consume content, they take in information, but then they don't change. Like, you know, I wanna level up, I wanna get my financial statement bigger, I wanna do this. Look, what are you looking for? The world's your library. If you know what you're looking for, it'll give you what you're looking for, am I right? What if you don't know what you're looking for? Right? You're just a feather blowing around in the wind. You're just here, but you're not here. Because if you don't know what you want, you're just consuming information and it becomes entertainment. Does that make sense? And that's why social media just destroys people unless you know what you want. I'm going to explain patience to you. A mom walks into the doctor and she knows as the motherly instinct that something's wrong with her kid. And you know what she does? She goes to the desk and the lady says, have a seat. It's going to be a few hours. She's got a motherly instinct that, you know what? Something ain't right with my kid. She kicks in the door, runs into the doctor and says, I need a doctor to look at my kid now. Now. I ain't waiting in that line. My kid ain't gonna die in this hospital today. Doctor comes out, looks at the kid and says, son of a if you'd have waited five more minutes, your kid would have been dead. That mother knew to kick that effing door down and get their kid in that hospital. You hear me? It's your time. Do you guys feel the gut instinct in your stomach saying now's the time if I'm going to really prove who I am to this company, to my team, to my family, to my customers, do to me, like now's the time. Am I right? I wish you guys could take 10% of what I have.